Funny how the story goes Little hope but bigger dreams uh, They try to bring a sucker down Singing louder than the crowd everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tiffany if you're new today I'm going to be showing you how to install a vessel sink on top of a butcher block countertop so if you're interested keep on watching okay I just finished the floor right on to the next step which is going to be removing this countertop and this faucet so we're gonna do that before you do anything you want to make sure you turn off the cold water and the hot water valve no more any leakage. And oh, shoot, my bucket won't fit. And then you want to make sure you have a bucket to catch any of the afterflow drip that's going to drip down. Alright, so I have it fully detached from the wall. I basically just use my utility knife, cut along the sides, cut along and up under the mirror. I removed the plumbing and now I'm going to get my sons to take it out for me. Okay, so the countertop is removed. This is what it's looking like. Here's the butcher block. The butcher block is a little bit too big, as I stated. However, that's how I wanted it so that I can shave it down to make it fit nice and snug and perfect. So this is what I mean by it's a little bit too big. So if you can see, it almost goes down, but not quite. So I'm just going to sand the size just slightly so that it can fit nice and snug. It's a butcher block. It fits nice and perfectly. Nice and snug. I have to cut it again with the saw. There is a little gap right here because the mirror comes down and there's like this little metal bar thingy. But once I put up the frame that I'm going to make for the mirror, it should be fine. I'm about to put the ceramic vessel sink up here so I can see where I want to put the holes and also the faucet. Alright, so here's the vessel sink. It's 13 by 16. It's white and it's the egg shape. And then this is the faucet. And I ordered both of these from Amazon. I will link it below. Here is the faucet and it also comes with the drain which is perfect because I wanted that to be matte black as well. So it all look really good and I love the faucet. Pretty heavy. Look at it. Looks really good. It's like the waterfall type. So yeah, now I'm going to set this up to see where I want it and then mark where I need to drill my holes. Alrighty, so there are several ways that you can actually set up your sink. Um, we have a vessel sink. So I can put it like this, which is like the natural way of having it which that looks good or I can have the faucet off to the side kind of like this and then if you try to put your sink at an angle some when the water shoots out it'll go in like a waterfall or like a what is it, cyclone? It'll go in a circular motion. I don't know what it's called. It'll go in a circular motion. Like instead of just falling straight down, it'll go like 
So I'm going to try to shoot for that look. Yeah. That just doesn't look right. Probably if it was round instead of oval. If it was round, that would probably look right in the corner. But I think because it's oval, it doesn't look right in the corner. Okay, so I have my drill here and I have my tool. Oh, I cannot think of the name of this. I'll figure it out and post it. But yeah, this is what I'm using to drill my holes for the sink and the faucet. Okay. So I'm actually going to use these hole saws instead to go ahead and drill the holes for the sink and the faucet. And these are going to fit in a short, better, and faster. I took the board up, slipped it over, I made it through to the other side on both holes. So now I'm just going to reverse it and do it this way so everything can meet up. You stick this in there and then you reverse on the other side so that you can get a nice clean hole. thing is hot okay but yeah it's out guys now the moment of truth let's hope the holes are big enough okay okay so this hole only needs to be big enough for these two to fit through so Hard cold water type. Okay, so yes, that is the perfect hole. <laughs> Y'all don't know how happy I am about this. Okay, your girl has became an electrician. Now I'm about to be a plumber. So let's hope this fits. Oh, gosh, fears. Oh, oh my god. That is like the most satisfying perfect fit ever like it is the perfect fit <laughs> okay now i have to go stain the board and treat it with a sealant coat so, all right y'all so i'm in the garage and I have an early american wood stain which i'm going to be staining the butcher countertop i have it flipped over on the back side so i can stain this side first and if i don't like it then yeah i'll, pick, I'll figure something out i'll pick another one but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like it and this is a waterproofing wood finish and it's made for like decks and patios so i know it's gonna last in the bathroom forever and like i should not have any problem with it messing up because this is some good heavy duty stuff. We're gonna stain it first. We're gonna do two coats and we're gonna allow it to dry for one to two hours between each coat. I'm just gonna use in a cloth dipping it and going with the wood grain. It's looking good to me.
look how good that looks with one coat. We're gonna let it dry for an hour. Okay, so I turned the brightness down. You can see a little better, but yeah, it's looking really good. Okay, so the first coat has been applied and it's nice and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the second coat. Make sure it's nice and clean. Alrighty, so it's the next day. The butcher block is done. It has two coats of stain and it has two coats of the uh, water protectant. Alrighty, so to install the drain, I have my handy dandy instructions. I have some plumber's putty and these are just the tool, the pieces that came with the drain. So I'm going to be putting the drain in and it fits ever so perfectly. But when I put the drain in here for this part, I'm going to apply some plumber's putty just so that there is no extra leaks. No, nothing will be coming through the seal. So I'm just going to put some of that there. Good thing I had this broken nail. It's really making me making it easier for me to apply this. As you can see, I'm just putting it here so we can have a nice tight seal. I don't want any leaks at all. Okay, that's the goal. To do this professionally. Now that I have the putty all in there, nice and neat, I'm gonna go ahead and slide my drain in, and that's gonna give us a nice secure no leaks are happening now i need to attach the silicone gasket the washer and the brass locking up okay you want to make sure the silicone gasket is as tight as you can possibly get it okay then we're going to put on the washer to hold that in place. After the washer comes the locking nut. Electrical work and plumbing. Yes. 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 Because I have an older house and an older sink, this valve right here, I've already screwed this on. I'll show you on the other side. But this valve under here is older, so it would not fit the threads of this. So I had to get a 3 8 to 3 8 adapter with the fine thread because it's an older home so it has fine thread and this is what it is so if you have an older home and your pipe isn't fitting that's probably why the valve isn't the right the compression valve is not the right size so you probably need to get an adapter everything can fit properly so satisfying because this was a bit of a headache I'm not gonna lie So this is the valve that I was referring to. It's very, it has fine threads and it's very old and very specific. Also as you can see the cold water pipe is too short. So I had to buy an additional pipe to connect the two with 3 8 by 3 8 and this is 16 inches as short as they have, so it's just gonna be a little bit extra long, but that's fine as long as we get this water going, all right? Okay, that's nice and tight. 
everything is nice and tight y'all i'm very proud of myself like i've got this hooked up and i've got it looking good okay let's just talk about it i need the damn thing look it looks so nice and neat too yes and this right here is a flexible uh, extension tube so you know if you're not coming straight down you need to go over just a little but like you don't want about this this is perfect for those type of situations okay no leaks the hot water and the cold water is on I'm not seeing like no type of leakage at all which is really really good okay now let's turn the water on the top here's the test I'm actually a little nervous but let's see if I know what I'm doing No leaks. Yo, I did that. <laughs> like, look. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hey, we did it. We did it. We did it. Hey, oh, that's warm. Try the hot. Oh, that's hot, hot. You see that steam? Yeah, we know the hot water working, okay? And cold. All right, so you see how it's like pouring straight down? I actually want to turn the faucet that way because it's supposed to like circle in the water. So let's, let's see if we can do that. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I got the light fixture going. I'm a look. I'm an electrician and I'm a plumber. Okay. Yes. Jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I cannot believe I've done this. Oh, so proud of myself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to the end i hope you enjoyed it i hope it's not too difficult to understand if you want to see the rest of the bathroom makeover make sure you subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up thank you guys so much and i will see y'all next time funny how the story goes little hope of bigger dreams uh...